Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to print and not engrave, so this is a printer, these name tags with this being the front and this being the back. I know nothing about printing this, and he didn't ask me for this, but I'm going to give him a little bit of advice. This is terrible. I mean, these lines, even printed, I don't think would be worth a flip. The other part of the logo is spectacular. The text is good, but your tag is terrible. I mean, I'm not uh, saying anything there <laughs> except for it's bad. I changed your duplicate distance to zero, zero for a reason for it in just a second. I'm gonna make, this is really easy to correct. I just made a, a box, a rectangle. I'm gonna take the smart fill tool and I'm gonna fill in that space. Then I'm going to, I've got my nudge factor set on pretty high. So I'm gonna nudge it out of the way a couple of times and I'm gonna put this in the center of the page. Then I'm gonna take away the fill and add an outline. Now you can change your outline to whatever you need it to be later. But then we need to go to object and break the curve apart and get rid of this rectangle. Now, even in a hairline, if this is a hairline, no, it's 500 points. Even in a 500 points, uh, there's a lot going on there. Um, it's really easy to fix. And uh, I hate to tell you, you kind of have to start over, but so what I'm going to do is take just half, and I do this all the time. If you have X7 or above, you got the smoothing tool and just start on half of it. And you, you could, you'll know you're doing it when you get a bounding box and then just kind of quickly go over half of it. That's the only way to make it. And look at the difference between this side and this side. Now take a two point line, hold it on the control button and get a perpendicular line and hit P, put it in the center of the page, take your virtual segment delete key and delete all that. I'm actually gonna take the shape tool and just see if there's anything else left from that other line is not. Then we can take away this line and this is where having zero, zero up here plays a big part because we want it right on top of it. So control D and make a duplicate of it and then grab this handle where it gets up to be a, I don't think even if I zoom in, it'll make it any better. But there's, see it's a, there's like a two, two pointed arrow. And then just hold down the control button and easily move it over there. Then as always, take your smart fill tool and fill that in left click, right click, and then you had it like a half a point in black, and you, I'm gonna use RGB, you're probably using CMYK, uh, but that's beside the point, because you'll figure that out. But I want you to look, let's just delete this. I want you to look at the new and that's evidently, I don't know if that, I'm sure he's printing that, but look at the, let's make it, let's see how thick this line is. Let's go to object group and ungroup. And that's 0.75. So we'll go 0.75 or 750. And it actually looks 7.75. That's what I'm good at. It'll, I think it's just because it's a double line, so you could actually make it thicker. See, there are some double lines in your when you're drawing. Probably can't even be separated. Let's just look at it. Click on it. Go up to object. Can't ungroup it. Uh, tell you what, let's look at it in wireframe. There's, there's the culprit. You've got three lines in some parts and crossover line versus mine. And I think you'll be a lot happier with my, well, and then again, I, I, I'm 
I'm not trying to be mean or cruel, um, but that'll print a lot better. Let's make it, let's make it a whole point, make it a little thicker. And as well, if you're going to keep it that size, you don't have to scale as object. So in case you make it bigger or smaller, that line will stay. Let's make it two points just to kind of make it look more like the printing. And there you go. Now, I'm trying to keep my videos not so long, so I'm gonna, I am gonna make you a video on how to uh, get these where you could print them out, uh, evidently on paper um, or some sort of vinyl out of a machine with a certain page. And I'll show you how to kind of uh, duplicate that and make it work. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.